Okay. We're going to read this conversation model, okay? It's about, don't worry about the, the accent of these people, okay? Don't worry about it. We're going to listen to this conversation model. People, be careful because this guy is Sindhu. It's an Read and listen to a conversation. An Hindu person. Okay, what can we see here in the pictures? Where are them? Where do you think that these people are? Are traveling, but yeah. in, in this moment. They are in a terminal. Mm -hmm, in a terminal. It seems like an airport. Yeah, it's like an airport. Yeah. Okay. So let's listen, people, the conversation model and try to follow the, the, the reading, okay? Let's just start. Conversation between two people trying to catch a flight. Excuse me, do you speak English? Actually, I'm French, but yes. Thank goodness. I'm looking for Terminal 2. No problem. I'm on my way there now. Just follow me. So, where are you flying today? Manila. Then I'm connecting to a flight home. Well, that's a coincidence. I'm catching a flight to Manila too. Flight 56? Yes. But we should hurry. The plane's boarding in 15 minutes. And where is home? Brazil. Sao Paulo. No kidding. I'm going to go to Sao Paulo next week. Really? What a small world. Okay, let's listen to these uh, expressions. Thank goodness. I'm on my way. This, this is one of my favorites. I'm on my way. I'm on my way. I'm connecting to, I'm catching the fly, and we should hurry. No kidding. What a small word. Okay, the expressions that I underline, people, are the expressions that I will explain to you. The first one, okay? Pay attention to this one. To this one, thank goodness. It's like, uh, thanks to God or, oh my God, yeah, thanks. It's an expression to say, thank you. But I'm not thank you to somebody specifically. It's like, thank you, thank you to, to the Lord, thank you to the universe, thank you to, to, to La Rosa Guadalupe, I don't know. But thanks to something, thank you. It's like, the, the cure of COVID-19 appears. Thank goodness, thank. Okay. Oh, this is a really good expression. I'm on my way. I'm on my way means that, estoy de camino, right? It means that I, I'm going, okay? For example, if it, right now I take my car and I go to San Pedro, I'm on my way to San Pedro. Remember that the preposition is on. You cannot use the preposition in. You cannot say, I mean, I, I am in my way. No, it's incorrect. It's on my way. Okay? I'm on my way to Santa Rosa. I'm on my way to work. I'm on my way to the kitchen to make dinner. Yeah, no, no kidding. It's something that you are going. Okay, I'm connecting to... It's like that I, in Spanish we call the escalas. That for example, that you are going to, to Spain, for example, to Spain. You are taking an airplane from Honduras, but you're not going directly to Spain. First, you are connecting in Colombia. First you go to Colombia, and then you take the other plane to Spain. You are making a connection. They are calling it, I'm connecting. 
I'm catching a fly. I'm catching a fly, it's like, you know that the bird catch is this, atrapar, okay? I'm, I'm like going on the airplane, okay? That's catching the fly. It's like, hey, let's go, let's catch the airplane. It means like, let's go because that the airplane is going. We should hurry, okay? We should hurry. It's like, come on, let's go. I like this expression too. Let's shake a leg. This is an idiom. An idiom people, the, the, the expressions, the idioms, they don't have to make sense in translation because translating this is like, movamos una pierna. But this means hurry up. That's shake a leg. Hey, come on, people, shake a leg. It's like hurry up. I will try to teach you some idioms too. I, I know many idioms. The idioms are really good to express yourself in English. Okay? It's like, mister, it's time, come on, shake a leg. Okay? Well, then we have this other word. Okay? So we should hurry. Okay, no kidding. Okay, it's like, nah, man, really? That's no kidding. And what a small word, it's, we are referring that, the word is really small, that what a coincidence, okay? That's a really big coincidence. That's uh, the expression of what a small word, okay? So now, right now, people, let's listen one more time. And then we are going to answer some questions based on this. Let's listen one more time. Read and listen to a conversation between two people trying to catch a flight. Excuse me, do you speak English? Actually, I'm French, but yes. Thank goodness. I'm looking for Terminal 2. No problem. I'm on my way there now. Just follow me. So, where are you flying today? Manila. Then I'm connecting to a flight home. Well, that's a coincidence. I'm catching a flight to Manila too. Flight 56? Yes, but we should hurry. The plane's boarding in 15 minutes. And where is home? Brazil, Sao Paulo. No kidding. I'm going to go to Sao Paulo next week. Really? What a small world. Oh, I forgot to explain you this expression. Where is home? It's like, where do you live? It's like, where is home? Where do you live? It's, it's the same, like, where do you live? Okay, people, focus on the language. Find and write an underlying word or expression from the photo study with the same meaning. I'm taking a plane. What do you think it's the same one? The words that are underlined, the ones that are underlined. I'm catching a flight too. Exactly, I'm catching a flight too. That's the same of I'm taking a plane. I'm catching fly two. Let's walk faster. It's like hurry up. We should hurry. Exactly, we should hurry. We should hurry. Or let's check a leg. I'm taking another flash, another, another flight too. I'm connecting too. Uh, I'm connecting. Connecting too. It means that uh, we are making a connection between the, the flights. Okay. So those can be the answers for these expressions. I will try to use more idioms with you. I like that one, um, check a leg. I know many of them. I like this one. Do you know what is the meaning of this one? Do you know what is this? Go fly a kite. What do you think that this means? Go fly a kite. Remember that the idioms, you don't have to translate them because translating it says like, 
ve a volar una cometa, ¿ok? Y también en es totally different. It's like, for example, in Spanish, the expressions like, ya colgó los tenis, it means that somebody, well, the idioms are like that, are expressions that you don't have to translate. It's things that you have to interpret. What do you think it's go fly a kite? Mm -hmm. Any idea? No? Something like, um, anda volar. Kind of, kind of. Yeah, you are really nearby. You are really close. You are really close. Okay. Yeah, it's andar y ya puso la marrana. It's like perdete. Uh, go get lost. Get away from me. Bye bye. Chao chao. Bye bye. Go fly kai, man. It's like when somebody's bothering and bothering and annoying, annoying, and you don't like that person. You can tell that person, go fly a kite. Go fly a kite. Okay, I'll, I will teach you only these two ones right now. Shake a leg and go fly a kite. Okay, let's see the other questions right here. Think and explain. True and false questions. Or and if it, there is not information, okay? True, it means positive, false, negative, and N-I, it means no information. It means that there are not enough information to know the answer. So let's see these ones. The flight 56 leads from Terminal 2, according to the reading, according to the reading. True, false, no information. Slide 52. True. Sorry. Mm, sorry, I got a little problem. Sorry, Right here. Okay, so the first one you told me true, false, or non information? True. The first one is true. Okay. Okay, the first one will be true. Okay, very good. Okay. Roger lives in France in France. Who is Roger? It's false. False, right? He lives in Brazil. Roger and Marcos are both flying to Manila. True. 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 Both of them are flying to Manila. Bridget. Marcos is staying in Manila. Oh, we don't know. Hmm, what do you think so? Is he, is Marcos staying in Manila? Or we don't have the information? No information. I guess so, no. Okay, and what about Roger? Are telling information about Roger?
Neither, right? Neither. They don't mention anything about Roger. So it's not information too. And the two men get the flight on time? The two of them got the flight on time? True or false? Or not information? No information. Not information. It's true. Exactly. It's not information. Because at the end, they just say one small word, but they don't say something like, yeah, we got into the fly on time. They don't mention it. They, they didn't mention it. Okay. So very good. People. Okay. I wonder that you tell me right here in this table, write me what kind of transportation do you use or you usually use uh, to get the school or work, social events on weekends, travel in, your, in my country or in your own country, or travel outside the country. You are going to tell me the means of transportation and you're going to tell me the reason. Maybe you have a car, but if you want to travel in the country, you maybe use the buses. And the reason is because you don't want to, to spend so much gasoline. So that's what you're going to tell me right now. Just tell me what means of transportation you, you are going to use and the reasons, okay? Just that, just that. And you are going to tell me. I will ask you questions about this. About it. I hate how Miami and other parts of the world they already open many things. Ready, people? Okay. okay, tell me. When I go to school or work, I use a bus. Mm -hmm. The reason because I don't ha I don't have a car. But uh, it's really far that you cannot walk. Yes, I oh. I take two bus. Oh, it's yeah, it's really far actually. Okay, and what about social events? I take a, a car. Mm -hmm. But the car is up for my bus. It's up my oh. bus. Okay, yes. cool. uh, for a travel in my country, I use a, a, a bus. Usually, I use a bus. Okay. And to travel out of the country, or you don't travel out of the country? No. Okay, very good. What about you, Sally? What kind of transportation do you usually use to go to school or work? A car. Car. And okay. sometimes I can walk because I I live near my my job and near the university. Oh, you live really? You live yes. Near... So when I when I want to to walk, I can do it. I do once a week. Just to to count it as exercise, right? Yes. <laughs> Just to count it as exercise. Very good. And when you want to travel in the country? Uh, I take a bus because I don't, I can drive for long trajectos. Long, long ways. Long ways. Okay, long ways. I'm what afraid about it. Really? Or what kind of car do you have there? Um, Volkswagen. Volkswagen? Yes. Oh, yeah, that's something uncommon, but I, they're really good, they told me. Okay, what about you, Gracia? What kind of means of transportation do you take for the school? A car. Car? Does your mother take you or somebody else? My mother driving. Okay, good, mother thanks. 
And when you want to travel in the country? Car. Car too. Okay. You don't go like in buses? Okay, got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. And what about you, Claudia? The microphone. Eh, to social event on weekend, car. I have car. Mm -hmm. eh, it's a comfortable. Mm -hmm. um, for travel in my country, car. What kind of car do you have there? Huh? What? What, ca what kind of car do you have? Eh, Toyota, eh, camioneta. Um, ser, no, eh, Rap Ford, Prado. Prado, Prado, Toyota Prado. Ah, Toyota Prado. Ah, pucha, ah, pucha. Excuse me, right? <laughs> Uh, I don't have. It's my father. <laughs> ah, it's it's your father. Ah, it's your father's mm. car. No, don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry. <laughs> okay, very good, people. Excellent. Let's move on to this next page, to page one hundred. Okay, page one hundred. We're about to finish that book. Page one hundred. We are going to learn this vocabulary uh, of traveling, okay? There, there is a vocabulary for traveling. Let's pay attention. We have passenger ticket, um, airline, dog, etc. okay? We're going to listen. Kinds of tickets and trips. Read and listen, and then listen again and repeat it. Let's listen here. Read and listen. A one-way ticket. A round-trip ticket. The local. The express. A direct flight. A non-stop flight. An aisle seat. A window seat. Now listen again and repeat in the pauses. Okay, before to repeat it again, I will explain it. First, one-way ticket, it's for example, when you are going, that you just go, but you don't know if you are going back. This is more common in, in the airplanes, when you are flying. Uh -huh. Yeah, and when you are flying, uh, it is really common that they ask you, it's like, what kind of ticket do you want? One-way ticket or a round trip ticket. A round trip ticket means that you go and you go back. You went, okay? You go to the country outside and you go back. So we have these two kind of tickets. One way ticket and a round trip ticket, okay? Then we have the local, so it means The local, it means, for example, the, the hour that you are leaving, okay? The hour that you are leaving. And the express. I don't know if it is the hour that, the hour that they have there, or that, yeah, it's the hour. It's the hour. The local hour and the hour of the place that you are going. For example, here in Honduras, it's 5, 20, okay, 26 after 5, okay, 26 after 5. But in United States, it's like 6 or 7, I guess. So you know the hour that you are arriving there. Okay, then we have, look at this one. A direct, okay, a direct flight. Okay, a direct flight. Okay, that you are going to Los Angeles, Taipei. And a non-stop, it's that you are not making stops in the flight. And then we have an island seat and a window seat. Which one do you prefer? I prefer the window seat. 
the which kind of seats me to all of us we want to we fight to sit next to the window let's listen one more time people and let's repeat the vocabulary read and listen a one-way ticket a round trip ticket the local the express a direct flight a non-stop flight an aisle seat a window seat now okay very very good now we're going to use this vocabulary in something okay we're going to use the vocabulary on this thing complete the conversation with phrases from the vocabulary okay we're going to use the vocabulary to complete these questions Number one, would you like a window or an island? It means that they are asking for the seats. I like to walk around. What do you think it is? An island seat or an, a window seat? He's telling that he would like to walk around. An island seat, exactly. Remember that the pronunciation of, the, of that word? Um, the letter S, we don't pronounce it. It's just aisle. I'll sit. I'll sit. It's flight three. Uh, no, it's a flight. It makes a stop. But you don't have to change plans. They are asking if it is a direct fly or a non stop fly. It's a direct fly. Okay, no, the question is a non, non stop, non stop fly. No, it's a direct fly. No, I don't know why. It's a direct flight. It makes a stop, but you don't have to change the plans. Do you want a ticket to Rome? Actually, I need, I'm not coming back. One way tick, ticket or a round trip ticket. One way ticket. In the first one. No. Anita, I'm not coming back. In the second is. Uh, in the second one, yes. In the second one is a one way ticket. Here, yes, it's a one-way ticket. And in this other one, a round, yes, a round it, trip ticket. Round trip ticket. Yeah. Sorry, it's too late to make that. But well, I will take that. I'm not hurry. The vocabulary that is missing. Local or express? I guess the first one is local. I will take the local. Well, I'll take the express. Okay. In this case, I will give you your report. Okay, now here in this part, the use of should and could, okay? I already explained you how to use them, and now we're going to make part of the uh, grammar practice right here. We complete this grammar practice, and then you can go for the last reasons. Okay, he, he, okay, take the express, the express, the local arrives too late. He, what do you think? I need to use the modal verse should or could. 
in the base form of the verb in parenthesis here. He should take, it's like that, people, in that way we're going to complete it. Should take, he should take the express, the local arrives too late. They said, we, two idle seat or an island and one seat. It's a possibility. What do you think so? Should or could? Could. Could. We could take. Takes, right? With the letter S, right? No, without letter S, people. Without letter S. We have to use the verb in the base form. We don't have to change anything. We have to leave it in base form. He should take and we could take. Okay? Is this, there? Uh huh. But is have. Ah, sorry, we sorry. Could, we could have. Sorry, sorry. We could have. <laughs> sorry, people. I'm a kind of in the mood. I'm catchy flying. I, later I will explain what's catchy flying. Catchy flying in the moon. Okay, here I'm missing some exercises. Yeah, I'm missing these ones. We finish this and then you can go. You not get. One way ticket, it's much more expensive each way. You shouldn't get a one way a one way ticket. Exactly, they are getting more expensive. Sometimes it's better people to buy a one round trip, okay? A round a round trip ticket to go and go back. Because one way it's a kind of expensive and it's so much cheaper, it's less expensive. If you use um, a round trip ticket, you should not, should not or shouldn't, you shouldn't get one, a one-way ticket. Which train we take? We absolutely have to be there on time. Asking for suggestions. Should I take? Should we take? Should we take? It should we take, exactly, but it's okay. It's in the correct form of the question too. Which train should we take? We absolutely have to be there on time. Number five, they buy, okay, a ticket at the station or the train, it doesn't matter. Asking for possibilities, basically. Good people. They could buy, they could buy a ticket at the, stage, at the station or on the train. It doesn't matter. People, questions so far about the use of could and should? If you have questions, you can ask right here. Don't worry. Mister, for me, it's difficult when I have to use could and when I have to use should because it's... Confusing. It's almost the same. Let me tell you that when you are talking, it doesn't matter. You can use whatever you want to. <laughs> The thing is that it's important to know when do we have to use each of them. But at the end, you can use whatever you want to. It's not a problem, to be honest. Because they are teaching you here rules, grammar, et cetera, et cetera. But when you are talking, we, we are not like, wait, wait, should or could use Whatever you want. Even in Spanish, it's like this. 
Podría or debería. Yeah, we always get confused of them. If we say aiga, come on. Well, what can we expect if we say aiga? My goodness, we have really high expectations. Well, people, right now we are going to disconnect and we are continuing on the last session, okay? To finish this part and then you can go for this one.